you have a thin gold chain in your personal jewelry collection? In my opinion, everybody needs a thin gold chain. You get a nice look, you can pair it with smaller pendants. They are nice, affordable, and you could wear them, stack them. A good thing to have overall. Now that I just sold you on thin gold chains, I also got to tell you the drawbacks, the realistic expectations, problems you could run into when buying smaller gold chains. With that being said, let's get started. I don't know about you guys, but I actually kind of like this setup that I have going on. This reminds me of a video I made about seven years, one of my first jewelry videos. I had those little cute rope chains on and how to stack them, and I talked about you should go with gold chains that are smaller instead of the fake stuff that could cost around the same. It's worth it to buy gold. Anyways, I want to talk about if you're shopping for a thin gold chain, and my expectations, half millimeter to up to about one and a half millimeter. That is what I would call a thin chain or a dainty chain, somewhere around there. Now, things to consider or issues or problems that you might or will run into is number one, if you're buying online, if you're not in a jewelry store and you're not taking out, trying on, look in the little mirror for about 10 minutes, trying to decide, you're gonna run into the problem of, hey, this chain look way bigger in the pictures than it does when I open this box. That is the biggest key when buying chains, especially if you don't have experience and don't know kind of what a one millimeter chain should look and feel like is you're going to run into that problem. Across the screen, I have my one and a half millimeter diamond cut roller chain. Super thin. I wear this with mini size pendants. It's what I have right now with the mini angel. Now, if you're looking at this and didn't really know about chains, this chain right here looks about two millimeters, two and a half millimeters because I'm so close to the camera. I'm trying to show the detail, trying to show that light hitting the diamond cuts and the overall quality. I'm not trying to make you buy something that's less expensive. It doesn't make sense as a salesman that I am. I'm just trying to show the realistic expectation of how the quality is. Now, if you look at me back here, you're gonna notice you're not gonna see those little links. You're not seeing the diamond cut. You're seeing me from far away, which again, this is going to make this chain look a smaller and the more realistic size. If you know you're looking for a thin gold chain, then you don't really have to worry about that. You know what a one millimeter, one and a half is gonna bring you something like this. It's those who don't really know it but want the thicker look that get disappointed. So I always recommend go up a size because everything looks bigger on pictures and videos. So if you accept it and you know you're getting this look, a little small gold chain, then cool. The second problem that you might run into with thin, dainty gold chains is that durability issue. Now, don't be scared. Don't not wear thin chains because you get a fire look for a reasonable price for buying real gold with this style chains. You just have to know what chains are better and what worse and what lifestyle or expectations, how you're gonna wear your gold chain basically, what kind of clothes you're gonna wear, and then gauge it, base it off there. With items like hollow chains, rope chains, wheat chains, chains that have little openings in them that aren't the thickest of wiring, um, can get caught in certain clothes, hoodies, you might take off your shirt, gets caught in one of these little wrinkles, and bam, it'll pop just like that. That's why I like to go with Heavy Links, Jacoji Links, the Diamond Cut, Rolo, Franco Chains, things that have thicker links to them for the size that they are because they do make them more durable. So I would stay away from those non-durable chains for this size. I'm giving you guys the worst case scenarios, expectations you should consider when going with a thin gold chain. Should you prevent yourself from wearing what you really want? No, but I think you have to know what to expect. I have the one half millimeter diamond cut rope chain 26 inch on a chain I just said is not good for thin gold chains, but realistically, I'm not gonna wear this chain. I wore this for the video, I took it for the thumbnail. I like it though, if honestly I was to wear it maybe once a month just for a simple stack, I appreciate it. I got the one and a half millimeter diamond cut Rolo chain 20 inch that I wear a lot actually with a mini pendant. So to me, you have to know yourself and what to expect. I think this is a fire look. I was doing the thumbnail. I wasn't even gonna wear this stack, but I looked at myself and this is really nice. So I kept it on and I truly appreciate it. It's what motivates me and what has motivated me through the years to preach and teach you guys. It's not about the price. It's not about the gram weight. If you could wear something with confidence, that's the flex right there. To me, the most important thing is make sure it's real gold, make sure it's real diamonds, and then that confidence, you'll feel it when you wear it. As long as you layer it right like I have here, to me, this 
could be a six millimeter rope. This could be a standard angel. It's gonna give the same look overall. But the good thing when wearing thinner or daintier chains, because of the gram weight, which equals price, you can get more of them and stack and layer them. That's why I originally said in the beginning of this video, you need to have thinner gold chains because you'd be surprised on how you could pull off the look. It does, like I said, does not have to be the thickest, the heaviest, the most expensive chain. Someone that knows how to do it and has that confidence that wearing real gold jewelry gives you naturally they're going to pull it off. So guys, the main point is know that these chains look bigger on video when you get them in real life if you've never dealt with smaller chains and to the durability issues. If you're going to wear them every day, sleep with them on, I would stay away from mainly diamond cut ropes and hollow chains. Those are chains that can run into issues. I've been wearing the diamond cut uh, roller chain a lot, sleep with it, pendant on, never an issue. I'm confident with chain styles like that. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button. We'll see you on our next Julie video.